Hey everybody, I'm Brian and this is the Apple Bias. So today we're going to be talking about this bad boy. The iPad Pro Magic Keyboard. Um, I've had it since April of last year and it's held up great. Like I was really worried about, you know, the keys. I came, I switched from this from a 2016 MacBook Pro had that butterfly keyboard that we all loathe and hate. I had that keyboard replaced three times and then after the third time I finally just said forget it I'm selling it. So I sold it, bought the iPad, got the smart keyboard at the time and now and then eventually in April of that of this year I got this bad boy. So and I love it, it's awesome, but sadly, the last few weeks I haven't been using it as much. That's because of that thing right there, the M1 Mac. So overall, it's, it's done very well. Um, magnets have been no issue whatsoever. This thing holds on, snaps on easy. I mean, it's great, it's never fallen off, nothing like that. The only thing that I've had is, you know, some like the space bar has like a different tint depending on the way the light hits it from probably just oil from my fingers same thing a little bit with the um trackpad just a little bit there um other than that i mean this thing i've never had any issues with the keys at all unlike that 2016 macbook pro that i had constant issues with uh, charging from the charging port works great if you look closely you can see just where that material this is loops around it's worn a little bit there and on the other side too other than that i mean this thing looks amazing it's hands down one of the best products i think apple has made i don't know how they continue to do it they continue just to improve things and i know what some of you guys are thinking you're thinking why in the world would you need all this if you had a laptop and I don't anymore, but at the time, I love this thing. Like, if I could actually get my full work done on this, I wouldn't get the laptop. But sadly, there's no Xcode. If you don't know, I'm an app developer, and I can't do that from this device. I, I was, but what I was doing is I was remote connecting into a Mac Mini, and it worked and it's worked for almost a year. Like I've done it most of the time for a year and it's worked pretty well, but it's not ideal at all. There's no Xcode on here. That's what I have to use to do my job. And I could get a desktop, but I really like the laptop. I like portability. Apple, I'm talking to you now. Bring Xcode to the iPad, please, because it needs to be there. I know it's not easy, but it needs to be there. Thank you. The iPad, a lot of people will say, is this consumption-only device. And for a while, it was mostly that. I think this, the smart keyboard, the magic keyboard, the pencil, changed the game. It has made this thing amazing. If I could keep it, I would. I'm most likely gonna get an 11-inch in the near future whenever they update it because the iPad is near and dear to my heart. It's wonderful. If you're on the fence about it, get it. If you, if you need something, if you need to make your iPad more laptop-ish, get it, because it really does make it a laptop. If you don't have to code, I mean, if I had to do anything other than app development, this is what I'd use. You know, it goes from this mostly consumption device to full-fledged work machine and then you can just rip the screen off and go back to just entertainment or drawing or whatever you like to do on the iPad and then you pop it back on and then it's a laptop again the it's awesome I can't do that with that if I try to rip the screen off it's broke so yeah so highly recommend if you're on the fence at all at this point I mean what are you waiting for save up your money and get it because if you have the iPad this thing's awesome. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys have liked it. Um, if you did, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. I can take it. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.